Here I am Tarina and today I'm going to show you how I organized my TV stand. So my book just got us a new TV and because of that I had to tear down all the organization that I had there before. He also got us a new TV sound bar and because of that I started to feel like the IKEA shelf was too filled with all these things. Today I'm going to organize all these cables and also make the look of the stand a bit more minimalistic. All you are going to need is tape, a box and a lot of patience. I will have to apologize for my cat. <laughs> so this white box was a DIY project. I cut tiny holes in the back of the box so the cords could go through them and hide inside the box. Clever, right? I had also hit the old remote controls in the box, so I had to put those into storage. Then I removed the box. Unblocked all the cords. And pulled the shelf gently off the wall, so I had more room behind it. And put the cords on the floor. Then it was time to clean the shelf. After the cleaning I wanted to try out what could be the new look of the shelf. Because of the minimalistic style I wanted to do next, I was done having the books there. When I was satisfied with the look, I took everything off the shelf and started to organize the cables. I started with putting them on the sides they fit best and then I plucked everything back on. I realized that one of the holes on the box was too small, so I took an utility knife and started to make it bigger. Now that all the cables were in the right place, it was time to start taping. All I do is put the cable behind the shelf and then tape around it. Works like magic. If the cable was too long, I just pulled it gently back into the box so that most of the cable was hidden inside there. 
if you have many cables that you have to put behind one leg of the shelf just start one at a time use as much tape you need and sometimes you have to reorganize the order of the cables here i realized that one of the cables should be switched on the other side so i pulled it back to the box and then shoved it out on the other hole so that it would change the side it was time to attack the long antenna cord and the extension cord that i had under my desk And then the finishing touches. We are done. I am so happy with the outcome. It was so worth all the trouble. The only thing that I regret is this one cord right behind the tree. I should have put it more up so that the tree would have hidden it, but I failed. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe so you can see my next ones. Let's see what I have in mind for that. And also if you would like to comment on the things that you would want me to do next. I am very open-minded, I might do anything. Bye! Mm.